All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about the battery-powered, break-free NAVAC tubing expander. This thing won a Dealer Design Award from the news because it really is a game changer in terms of how compact it is, the different sizes of tubing it can do, and the fact that you can save on fittings by producing really nice, consistent, what we would call swedged fittings or expanded tubing fittings in the field. So we're gonna show you how it's used as well as show you some clips of it being used in the field. As you can see, this comes with 3 8 to inch and an eighth size dies, so you can swedge or expand all the common sizes of copper tubing. Okay, now one thing I really like about this tool is that it has really thorough instructions right on the side of it, which is handy because often you lose the instructions. So it kind of goes through step by step. First off, you gotta use this with soft or annealed copper. So if you take hardened copper and you heat it up to kind of dark cherry red, let it cool off, you can then use this tool Tubing needs to be reamed and deburred. One of the best tools for that is the NAVAC reaming or deburring tool. Operation can be stopped anytime by hitting the button. And this thing only has one button. It's one button operation. So you hit it to kind of start the process. It does its thing, but if you need to stop it, you just hit it again. And then if you want to release it, all you do is you just push this forward in order to release it back to the original position. And this is handy, especially in cases where you want to kind of work it, pause, move it around, work it again, pause, move it around especially where you're concerned about splitting the tubing. This comes with its own battery and battery charger. This is a two amp hour battery, and we find that this thing lasts a really long time. You can get, again, I haven't counted the, the number of times you can do this, but you can keep this on the truck for a number of weeks in most cases before you have to recharge the battery. I'm just using this basic reamer we have here in the classroom just to ream out and deburr this copper tubing. Always make sure when you're reaming copper tubing that you don't let any of the shavings make it down into the pipe. Let me go ahead and place the battery in the tool. We're gonna place the proper size die into the tool. You can see here that we're using the 7 8 die. Place it in the tubing. All we're gonna do is just hit the button. It's a perfect swedged expanded connection. You can also see the battery percentage here on the back. As you can see, it also has a light for working in dark areas. All right, today we're gonna to be using the NAVAC electric uh, swedge kit. I'm just gonna try it on 3 8 for now. Um, I've already deburred it, so let's just go ahead and test that out. So just gonna. 3 8s, hook that up. Uh, it's pretty simple, you just insert it like so, and then we're just gonna click once on the trigger, hold it in place. All right, so that's what we, our end result looks like. It's just 3 8 so it's pretty small. We'll try it on something bigger later. Um, so far, so good. So we're gonna try it again, um, a tight application, so this should help out a lot, hopefully. Um, just going to be swedging out that little piece of 3 8 down there. Um, so it's pretty tight, so let's go ahead and try it out. Put it in like so. So really good for tight applications such as these. So that's it, the NAVAC NT11L, available at many different supply houses and distributors, or you can go to True Tech Tools, use the offer code GETSCHOOLED at checkout for a great discount. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.